Hello, hello, hello. Sucros here. Today we're going to play Cave Blazers, which I played on stream. Um, I used to play this. Played it for a few months, I guess, maybe. And I uh, haven't played it in maybe half a year. But it's a fun little roguelike platformer. And uh, I thought I'd give it a try. Used to be a lot of people who seem to play this on Twitch, but it uh, doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Uh, they had a patch recently, I think in March, so. Um, it's sort of a political thing, a social thing. They're, they, this quote story, the ending, kind of horrible. Kind of terrible. Uh, and the devs gave an option to turn it off. Which is nice. So uh, I'm playing with control. Let's go ahead. So yeah, I'll explain what little I remember. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's change the, my volume. Um, now the volume that you hear is different. So let me know uh, if, if it turns out to be too quiet or too loud. But that music was so loud, um, I turned it down. Um, yeah, this isn't the state of the game when you start. This is after you've kind of completed it. Um, I've, I've beaten it once. These are a little challenge. Oh shit, I don't want that. These are challenge modes. I haven't gotten that one. I think, I think I, at least back when I played, I remember, I think I knew how to get it. I had figured out how to get it, but uh, just didn't get it. We've got... Uh, how do you... <laughs> we'll figure it first in a second. So you've got a bow. You can fire in the eight uh, cardinal directions or whatever semi-cardinal. How do you access probes? Down, up, left, right. Okay, there we go. So these are kind of things that change the way your character plays. Usually they have positives and negatives. Um, but springy, increase your jump height and double jump, doesn't have any negatives, so I like to play with that. Uh, this is the only mode on which I've beaten it, which is what the check comes from. And these things unlock as you do stuff. And let's see. If anyone cares, here is the screen. Like I said, I don't remember too much about it, but um, it's pretty good. It's got, so you've got your melee, and as you see, your melee is very short range. Uh, you can do a downward jump, which is kind of interesting. The controls for it are not fluid, which I think is good because it's pretty powerful. Lots of enemies. Um, we'll go through all sorts of enemies. Okay, yeah, we've already taken damage to a bat. Which is probably the easiest enemy in the game. Um, yeah, my skills have dulled, for sure. I played a couple of rounds before stream to to uh, Try to reacquaint myself. Oh my god, so as you can probably figure out, those blue dudes explode when they die, and so they're very dangerous. Uh, let's see. Let's 
Okay, these little things you find randomly. Um, I think pretty much, without exception, improve your character. Although there may be some that are questionably useful. Um, got a little inventory here. Absorb the souls of nearby dead things. Each soul temporarily increases your damage by two. Absorbing five souls at once is permanent stat boost, so we can equip things. That's the bomb thing's kind of dangerous. All right, spike sword. And when you're in your inventory, the game doesn't pause. So. Um, yeah, so there, that's pretty much an upgrade. So now this gives us a little bit of health. Because of double jump, we can get up here. If we didn't have double jump, we wouldn't have been able to get up here. So. Alright, so this goes in the slot for item, like, use, usable item. Um, we're going to try to use this. If we can lure a bunch of enemies to the same place, uh, like, I didn't count, but... And then kill them. All, the, all those dudes power up your weapon and hopefully give you... Uh, that stat boost that it talks about. The game is pretty fast paced. Although sometimes you'll wind up with these little situations where you just kind of sit and shoot for a little while. Um, because basically aiming is impossible. Um, you can only go northeast, north east. You know, east, north, north, you know. And um, yeah, the arrows have wiggle to them, which lets you sometimes get out of the reach places, but you, you have to wait until uh, it just randomly does it. I'd say arrows are super useful for the for the bosses in particular. My god. Melee is difficult because they will hit you as you hit them in melee range. Uh, there's very few ways to regain health in this game. Uh, it's very, very, very much a priority to get health. Most of the ways that involve getting a lot of health back involve you meleeing enemies. And so there's a nice little <clears throat> risk-reward trade-off. Um, and the enemies, like that fellow, actually can shoot you with, a, with an arrow. And if, oh lord. <laughs> We're not going to make it far on this run. Uh... We we're already oh lord. So I found that uh, like all roguelikes, it's so much easier if you get good randomness. Actually, let's try using this. So we did we got a powered up weapon, but we did not get that stat um, improvement. The spikes are not instant deaths, but they do about 80 damage, and so for us, they would be an instant death. Uh, let's see, what else? So obviously you can jump off with walls, which is kind of fun. Uh, we can try... Still one short. It helps to it helps to uh, to count. So this is a choice. So you can either get one of three things. I don't even I, I a lot of these I haven't memorized what they do, and some of them are very not useful. But I don't know, so I just kind of pick. 
So yeah, this doesn't really help us because we're not using magic items. Uh, if we get a magic item, it might become useful. But they're permanent, they're passive. Don't really hurt you. Alright, so we still don't have a way of healing ourselves. We have uh, a tart, which gives us plus 10 max health. And it regains 15 health, so that's pretty good. We're low on health. I'm going to go ahead and use that. Uh, Elven Bread plus 5 max health gives the third pack 35 health. Let's use that. There's a lot of strategy. because Being a roguelike, what you encounter is, uh, is random. So there's a lot of strategy having to do with, well, should I wait um, to hopefully power up or, or get something somewhere else? Uh, what do we get plus two for? So like this statue, I think, heals you to full. So we'll probably put off using it uh, until later. It's, it's really expensive, and I think we can only use it once. There's other statues that drop random items. Hey, Delvian. Yeah, Electro Longboard, yeah. I, actually, sometimes I see both of them in the, um, in the channel. I don't know what they're doing other than trying to get attention. Um, what's up? That guy's got an arrow for us. Alright, so we're going to try to get this explodey guy, like there. Well, I know, but... What are they trying to do, you know? Oh shit. A lot of a lot of arrows flying here. Oh no, that was just bullshit. The the dudes the arrows basically kill you. I mean Um I feel like in most of my runs, orcs with arrows kill me. So we got a bow upgrade. That's pretty much it. Just instant messaging on Reddit. Actually, um, I actually just sent a guy an instant. I just sent a guy an instant message, thanking him for making long dark mods. And I guess I didn't really think too much about it. Um, uh, no, there's no fall damage, but that guy blew me up. He exploded me. Being close to death cards was a large explosion. Uh, okay, we got that little power up. So he's got, a, he's got arrows. There we go. Um, all right, this is kind of interesting. So this this little altar lets you, if you have two of the same item, I think it's two, you can drop them and it'll give you, it'll upgrade that item, but you lose one copy. So two of the same item turns into one better one, uh, which is another important thing. Oops, I did not mean to get that. So we upgraded this Fairly shitty little perk. Oh lord. We're not doing so hot. We are not doing so hot. Can't get to those enemies. They require blowing up the wall. Um, what I'm going is I'm going back up to the top to try to get that health statue. We have enough health. Hopefully it's a health statue. Okay. That's not the right button. All right, good. So despite the fact that we've gotten hit a bajillion times, we're up to, to full health. So onward to level three. We had some bombs we could get in through there. Usually there's uh, items in chests. Even if they're not useful, you can um, use them to, to to upgrade, with this transmogrify scroll, you can actually get money for it. 
All right, we got a boss. I think this is one of the easier ones. Um, Fell Fang. So he puts down poisonous goopy goop. And you don't want to goopy goop on you, definitely. Uh, we've been goopy goop. Oh, we got exploded. And we are taking poison damage. So, probably the smart strategy is to try to stay away from him, stay away from that poison damage, but, uh, alright, we got a little spider baby area. Alright, there's something coming. Yeah, I for totally forgot, so you have to hit him in that weak area to get a lot of damage, but I forgot what was happening, so didn't prepare myself. About to die. There's nothing we can do. And we died. So, <laughs> hopefully, we'll uh, remember how to play. A lot of the game revolves around not taking damage. This little mask is just a costume. I'm hitting A, but it's not continuing. I'm hitting... every button on the thing, and it's not continuing. I didn't realize Yogcast actually released again. I guess they're... He killed himself. Um, okay, well, I don't know what happened, but we had to use the keyboard there for a second. I guess I thought maybe they were a publisher or something. Um, I don't really know. They, they, they did that Minecraft vlog, right? Or vlog. Looting Tesla. Let's do Tesla. Um, okay. Potions, like any good roguelike, um, have random effects. So the, each time you start the game, they're they're re colored, and you don't know what uh, the gray potion does until you take it. Fires powerful arrows, which have a slight humming effect. Let's try it. That's not that slow. A game called Vog Yog Adventures. Scandal with his head and release any details. Yeah. That sounds like uh, crowdfunding, doesn't it? Well, we're dead. So what happened was there were two of those jumpy explosion guys. I shot and killed one of them. The explosion killed the second, which threw me into the spikes. And, uh, and that's it. It got better, unlike me. Okay, thank, thanks, Sylvia. Thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, mods, please. Escort Delvina out, if you would. Alright, better to get the, the dyers done with early, you know. Some some lives are just meant to die. Might as well get them out of the way. We can buy a ruby ring for 55 gold. Alright, another 
exploder. It gives you two primers, which can be used as altars. I don't remember how... I think primers act as anything for the purposes of upgrading. So they're like... Um, let's say you have a great sword, but you only have one. You can use a primer to uh, to act as that other copy. So these these are actually really great. Um, shields give you a little shield, avoid one one attack. And time crystal. So we actually have two of the same item now. Two spike sticks, which suck by themselves. They're very slow. They're not terrible when you upgrade them, I guess. But we need to find an altar. Uh, there's more explodey dudes down there, just exploding on their own. Maybe they jump on spikes or something. I don't know. These guys remind me of shy guys. Okay, where's Mr. Blue here? There we go. Kill him at a distance. Always kill him at a distance. I, I really think that's your only option. I mean, you take damage if you don't. Alright, so this this run so far is going a little bit better. Got two random potions. I like to it's a little bit scummy. But if you take the potions right before you leave the area, if they're let's say a potion of poison, you, you don't take the full poison damage. Um or of being set, a potion of being set on fire or something like that. We got a ring here. Uh, and so it's, if you know, if you're ready to try to figure out what the potions are and accept the consequences, some of the potions have negative, not just setting you on fire, it actually like permanently decrease your stats. Uh, it's kind of a shallow mechanic. It's pretty much just try them out when you're healthy. So even with the double jump, this is going to be a hard... <laughs> uh, I want that upgrade. But we have to get in that little hole. Whew. Increased projectile size, easy to hit your targets. Doesn't seem much bigger, but okay. Oh, he's got arrows. Oh, he hit me with the stick. It's a little bit strange. You can touch enemies. You just can't touch them during their attack cycle. Um, which, if you're good, you learn the timing and stuff like that, but... Uh, not there yet. Hopefully I'll remember how all this works. Got a bow. This is this is the better boat. It must have been the last life we got that other boat. You 
range and playing it safe works for me. Uh, which is one of the reasons I thought maybe this would be a bad game to stream. It's so often you just kind of sit there and shoot at a distance when you can. Uh, when the when the enemy type allows it. Oh god, I fell. Okay, so these dudes are pretty stupid. So let's see. So yeah, as the game goes on, the environments change um, and become more deadly. There's a there's a place with lava, all sorts of terrible stuff like that. I'm not sure I can get over there. There's two chests. Oh, we have a bomb. Honestly, I'm not really sure if we can get over there still. I, I don't remember how far it blows up, but it's possible that it's only two blocks. Let's give it a shot. All right. So, a lot like Spelunky in that respect. I have to say I kind of feel like it's a... Uh, Poor man Spelunky, or... I, w I would say Spelunky with more combat, but actually Spelunky has a fair good bit of combat. It's just, there's less thinking, I think, in this. Ah, uh, and more just slashy slash. Uh, Spelunky doesn't have any slashy slash. So there's a blessing down below. Toughness, Calamity, and Brawler. Can't remember what they do. Brawler sounds good. Okay, made our sword bigger somehow. Go away. So that's the boss. Okay, and we've got this thing. So let's let's just see how it works. So let's see. To drop. Uh, let's figure out how to drop. He picked up my weapon! Oh my god, what a bastard. And then hit me with it. There you go. So that turns into a super spike stick. Um, which is not bad at all, actually. Yeah, you can't do a down stab. But it's, uh, it's got... let's just change that. I'm going to go ahead, gamepad, inventory. You, you can't. You can't assign start to the inventory. Because pressing start exits this box. It's I feel like every game is plagued with UI annoyances. And so it must be that uh, it doesn't bother most people. But I think I need to open the menu, go to start. 
but it's a different menu. Uh, Alright, 20 hit points. Let's see what else. Do we have anything else we can duplicate? Um, no, but we could upgrade things with the primer. We could, we could upgrade this... Uh, this ring. Oh, this ring is... We don't want this ring. Um, unless, unless I misread it. So does this mean we take more fire damage? Or we deal more fire damage? Because affliction sounds bad. Um, I'm going to look it up. I've always assumed that this actually makes you take more damage. But I've just realized maybe that's not right. I think it makes you do more. I'm actually still not 100% sure, but uh, that sort of thing. So, we're not doing any of those, nor do we have any magic cards, wands or anything. But I think it adds magic damage to our attack. Let's try, let's see what this is. King's Amulet, melee damage. So minus 25% damage resist. This is this is bad. So it makes you more offensive, but uh, but this does actually okay. This is the one reduces your damage resist, reduces your poison resist, and reduces your fire resist. Okay. Let's uh, let's try upgrading this. Super Ring of Affliction. Okay. Um, I'm not a real big fan of this bow, so. Okay. So, I believe there was also. Uh oh, there's a lot of people down there. I thought I saw a shrine on this level. Uh, let's hope. Let's hope there's a hell shrine. There we go. So, good. So we filled up. Um, strategically, it might have made sense to use our potions before using the shrine. Um, you have to know the numbers in terms of what can instant kill you. But let's try them here. So we go boop. So let's just try this. And if it is bad, we'll go through the door. Pretty good. Well, that's that's really good. All right, another boss. I thought maybe the invincibility would be helpful, but we've, it's already worn off. Don't remember. Don't really remember the bosses. Far so so good, but uh, he's got two two lives, I guess. What's what's this? Oh, it's lot. Okay. Not 
bad, not bad. Oh dear. Handsomely rewarded. It's a Galaga creature? Galaga? Really? This. I'm not really happy about this first, but whatever. Isn't Galaga the space game? Huh. That's funny. I, I have no idea. I don't remember at all. The skulls are pretty rough. They have little babies that come around and stuff very, very fast. Before we head over there, let's take a look. Is there anything we want to use here? So this thing is pretty cool, but... Um, there's enough bad... Uh, it, it made these chickens, which aren't very healthy. Some kind of statue over there. These blue dudes are going to be... oh god. This is it's gonna be chaotic here. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And forty three health. There is not a health shrine on every stage. I think I think they come at regular intervals. Is that, does that spaceship grab you with like the tractor beam? Is that what you're talking about? I remember that spaceship, but I don't remember what it looks like. Don't go down, don't go down. See, I'm standing on something that looks a little funny. Um, this is one of the secrets where you go through and you uh, you unlock the extra difficulty modes. I think you've got to drop items into it or something. And then you go and fight something. And I've done this one. We're, we're about to die. As much as I hate to do it, I'll have to take the heart. Galaga spaceship lights that I was reminded of kids uh, have eyes. I th I'm actually a little bit surprised you played Galaga. Oh shit, I didn't see the bats. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're gonna run. It's the rec center you hung out as a kid, that's funny. Yeah, Galaga was one of those uh, arcade games that seem to last a lot longer than arcades. Like, it must have been really popular and there were just a lot of different copies of it, you know? 
but yeah, I've seen him. I've seen him too. Uh, there was one at my campus. Uh, what do you call it? Student union or something? There's a cluster of three needles. This is pretty useful. This is, um, if you can upgrade this, this is a really great bow. Because it's so hard to aim. This kind of does the job for you. find a way to heal ourselves. Uh, this game seems less and less likely of being successful. Because we're just about to die again. Enemies move the same. Just speed through the parts you memorized. I went and played a couple of, uh, uh-oh, spikes here, a couple of games like that from my childhood, um, the other day, to see if they made, oh, oh dear, see if they made sense to play on stream. Uh, one is called Gorf. G O R F. And it's so repetitive. I mean, it's like one step up from Space Invaders. It's a, it's a little bit better than Space Invaders, but not by much. And the other is called Zaxxon. Now, Zaxxon is actually pretty good. It's fake 3D. Um, I'm not gonna say it looks good, but it doesn't look bad. And it's pretty interesting. So that's a auto scroller flyer game. Oh shit, one more hit, we're dead. Saxon's a better name too. Yeah, Gor Gorf. <laughs> Gorf is a pretty horrible name. So we don't know what any of these potions do. Uh, we, so I should use these. So we've got two hits that we can take. I'm, I'm probably going to take a potion before we go through the door, but it, it could kill us. Alright. Because I don't think shields protect you from being poisoned, or I, I don't know, we'll see. Alright. So this one, it's a bright red potion. Okay, it raised our health, but hurt our damage. Dwarf Fortress? What does that even mean? Alright. Gray Potion. Plus two melee damage. Okay, that's good. But really, we want health. How about, how about Yellow Potion of Health? Poison. Alright, go right through the door. Oh shit, they fixed that! They fixed that little... I mean, it was cheaty. It was cheaty. But we still took damage. It broke our shield. What's the ASCII game? NetHack? 
I think you're talking about NetHack. Dwarf Fortress is a little bit different. Oh lord! Almost stepped on the spikes! There's our other hit, so now we're gonna die, but probably the next hit we die. Gotta take it slow. Um, these guys, I don't mind these guys. They're not, they never shoot bows. Yellow potion of poison, I think, right? Well, we have another one. Slow poison. Oh, great, there's a fast poison and a slow poison. Hey! It's a second copy of our bow, so if we get it and we can upgrade it, that, that would be really, really good. But we need help. Without a... Uh -oh. Without a health shrine, we're going to be... Uh, we don't have good luck here. How did you forget NetHack? I don't know if he's going to jump high enough, so we'll go over him. Go! Uh -oh. All right, he shoots. He shoots arrows, so we got to watch out. And we we took an arrow to the face. Uh -oh. So we have homing arrows and quadruple or septuple or something arrows. This is really powerful. Sadly, we're gonna die. Another life. Another wasted life. I can't hit A to continue. I don't know what's what's up with that. Luckily I can hit enter to continue. Um okay. That was a lot further than before. So That's good. Let's try again. I feel like the runs get much more interesting when you get health rejuvenation. Because you have to decide, okay, look, I'm not going to shoot these dudes, even though it would be easy to shoot them. Because I need to absorb their health. And uh, you can only do that through melee. What? How? I don't really remember. So, there's other ways to get health. I think there's one that does something like every certain number of enemies you kill, your max health goes up or something. There's all sorts of little stuff like that. are pretty cool. Um, I believe they let you trade health for max health. Which uh, makes sense right before you use a shrine or something like that. Or, or you're just confident enough that you can get the health back. There, you see those little markings? You can't see them. You see this little markings like bottom left and to the bottom right. Um, those are part of the first secret. And there's a like a boss rush kind of area that you have to beat after you trigger these things. That one I've gotten.
But yeah, just to show you, you like turn them on. They look kind of like Transformer logo. so good. Let's see. Battle Brew, I think, increases max health. Oh, no. Temporarily increases your melee damage, increases your minimum maximum health to 5, so it's 10 health. Okay. Uh, how do I use this? So I think that was like poison or something, but we weren't in its range. in the game, but uh, I just feel like trying. So, this one? Alright, that's good. Both good. It just means the bad ones are still waiting for us. trying to cheese you. Why are you trying to cheese me? Fine. Um. How do you... Kind of curious. It's all the neat little challenges. Marathon. Travel a marathon distance. Reward green pants. Cool. It's almost comical that the game celebrates uh You bastard! You took my potion of max health. I just gotta say, it's almost comical that the game celebrates, uh... What, what are they called? A aesthetic clothes. Because it's like, he's just a couple pixels. Alright, ring slot, blowback, oculant. Oculant has to do with sight, right? O Let's try that. I don't know if that does. Equip additional magic. There is a... There is an altar to the left. Motherfucker! I feel like there's a way to blow them up and you get like 
something for it, but I can't remember how to do it. stuff going on down here. And we are gonna die. I know as soon as I jump down in there, they're gonna kill me. Okay, Royal Rain. Okay. Meat, that's health. Was fired using the rotatey button. I don't even. What is it called? The annoying tri trigger. No. Uh, basically, the button that I usually never use. But I think it actually works. Kind of makes sense. It means you don't have to change between the. Uh, the sword and the... Oh, that's neat. You don't have to change between the sword and the bow. I think I've forgotten the respect that I need to give each enemy. In this game, honestly, I think it's every enemy should be treated as a uh, game. <clears throat> we had a bomb. I think, I think this will do it. So we'll do boop, boop. Twenty per cent chance of firing an additional arrow. Seems pretty good. any statues. Uh -oh. In this in this world, but I'm gonna look because we need help. It's, it's all it's that risk reward payoff. Shit shit shit. What? Hit us after all that. Um, those demon looking dudes drop demon runes. Um, 
There's a lot of perks that make demon runes better too, but mostly I just wait on them until the situation looks good. And it does not look good. We don't have any way of getting health. At least we got green pants. Uh, let's, let's go through these. <clears throat> See if what they look like. Start with an apple and two bombs. This one is pretty good if you, so you helps you get that uh, the arrow better at the beginning. Reduce range. So this is like really melee guy. The wands, we haven't really touched magic stuff, but you can attack at a distance, which is nice. I played this one a lot. So the Soul Reaper, I believe, gives you max health every time you kill an enemy or something like that. Something. I don't remember how it works, but uh, it's pretty interesting. Some of these I haven't even tried. Uh, Rune Master is a whole different ball game. This one is really, really hard. I don't. I've seen people do this on YouTube, and they beat the game like this. But it it's really, really hard. You lose health. You can't. I don't, I don't know. You just you have to keep going. Um, I've played this one a lot too. You can heal yourself, <clears throat> but uh, you start with a lot less health. So we'll stick with this for now. If you wanna see me try something, let me know. Magnetism, Glide, Oculent. So we just got Oculent, right? It lets us equip a second magic item. <coughs> Which I think is that. That can be pretty powerful if you actually find it. Magnetism, I think, brings gold to you. Don't know what Glide is. Let's try that. That might not, I feel like that might not even be beneficial. That might actually be hurtful. Because it gives you fewer options with where you can aim. Oh, that's not a sword. That is a... Magic. I don't even know how to use the magic. Um, I think it's... it's okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. we've used it before. So this was this is kind of an interesting one. You, uh, you take more damage, but it's a, it's a good sword. Don't think we're going to be using it. Getting high damage resists is something that uh, I feel like you need to do for the end game.
Maybe I. It's always better to just don't take this. There's a little bit of strategy with the potions, uh, we, we, where we saw that the enemy used the good potion. So you can just throw them out. If, if you really need to take a potion and you've got like two oranges or something, you can throw it out, see if the orc takes it, and, uh, and use that to identify it. I don't know. I did not need to do that. Uh, but of course you lose that potion, so... That's the cost that you pay. Alright, let's try this sword. This magic thing. Not really... impressed. Plus, let's hope that was plus. Let's see if, uh... No, that was minus. <sighs> Didn't need to do that. Bats in this motherfucking plane. Everybody back up. Jesus. So we've got a health shrine. Uh, which kind of negates most of the shittiness that. Uh, Oh my god! We might die. So, I was gonna use the shrine to like, test my potions or something. I don't, I don't think we have that luxury. Um... I could take the tart and the shield to kind of delay, but I don't trust myself. Okay, we don't have the gold. So take the tart and the shield. 
Does uh, anything get to upgrade? No. Let's see. Uh, we can use that. Don't know what that did. We want to play it real safe here. 20 health. It's not that great. That shrine gives you a random item. They all cost money, so they're not really shrines, they're more like shops. But, uh. <clears throat> hey, we got a sword. Yeah, that's an upgrade. Looks like, yeah, there's some gold there in that spikes, but I can't, can't get them. You bastard! That's positive. I don't like this blade, so let's get rid of that. We can't afford, we can afford the statue. I'm gonna see if I can clear this all out. Arcane, Master Sword, and Magnetism. I again I don't remember what they are, so. LA attacks fire projectiles when you have more than 80% health. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Um, if we go in this door, we'll be at the boss, the first boss. Which is random. Um, some of the bosses are pretty rough. health. I'm gonna try to game it. Let's try a yellow potion. Nope, 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 nope. Hold on. Let's try a yellow potion. Rage. I think rage reduces your damage resist, but it, it makes you attack harder or something. That was bad. That gave us a shield. Okay, so temporary doubles all damage taken and all damage dealt. Alright, so we buy the, sh the, 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 the shrine. We do have bombs, so we can get over there. It's just a pot, though. So I'm gonna actually let's see. Let's go back up here. This is good. I think this gives you damage resist. Ten percent damage resist. Great. So that brings us back to zero. Um, all right. Let's go fight the boss. This guy is kind of cool. Let's hope I can remember how to do it. Sort of a Tetris boss. Um, yeah, I don't remember how to do it. So you have to ride...
you have to ride him up, and if you get on top of him, it's, it's really advantageous. But these stone hands, I think they get faster. Shit. They won't let me attack it. And he squashes. Alright, so we did proceed. We're not on top, so... It's going to be really hard to hit him. We, I think we have to... What am I supposed to do to that? I think we have to get on top of the hands. Yeah, they definitely get faster. Fuck you! Checks up increased knockback. That might be interesting. Let's have a chance of dropping that. That's good. That's good. Uh, all right. What's the deal with the staff? Damage dealt by the Elson staff increases with your magic damage. Damage dealt with this weapon charges your magic item 100% faster. And the staff's third combo attack. Such increased knockback, but. It kind of sucks as a weapon. <clears throat> so we'll stick with what we've got. So yeah, over time you get these random perks and then you can decide how to take your character on those choices. Uh, the, the choice perks. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of nice. It's a nice little customization, character customization. If you have half strategy, half luck. Oh, I like it. Simple, but shit. All right, so our slots are full. Let's deal with this guy. Uh, since it does do fifty percent more poison damage, but I, I'm still gonna use. I think I need to use this. That seems better to me. This is another one like that black sword that attacks. Um, reduce damage resistance by 10%. That's not good. Um, Uh-oh. What the... Come on up. Oh, fucking cocksucker. No, 
looking so hot. I think I'm gonna pop the shield. Did he eat that potion? Or... I think he ate that potion. Oh god. <laughs> Took a little misstep there and uh, panicked. Everything worked out. Another wand. And it looks like a pretty good bow. Um, it does more damage. And it goes through dudes. Let's see, the gold wand. It's not bad. Launch magic projectiles with seek nearby enemies. So this... This can only be used every once in a while. Yeah, so we'll stick with the necklace. There's a blowy up fella down there. good finds. Let's just not die and use this uh, upgrade. We can upgrade the Orcish Ring. Uh-oh. Pretty cool, uh, but let's let's upgrade this orca shrink if if there's nothing that's gonna kill us. Okay, so boop, 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 boop. Oh, I think it's the. I think it's been blown up. See how the right edge is torn? I think it's three wide and it's been blown up and now it doesn't work. The magic has leaked out. That's really sad. But I'm going for the better arrow ring, since we're using that a lot. Fuck, well, there's, there's a shield. Um, attacking, you pr may have noticed moves you forward a bit. Melee is super tricky. Okay, 
as evidenced by that account. Let's try. Uh, let's try a different. Perk. Let's try this. We haven't had much luck finding healing items, so let's start with one. Um, now we can't double jump, and our jump is much shorter. So tactically, we're at a disadvantage. We can still cling to the wall, but. That double jumps. It's pretty good. In return, we start with this healing orb, which if we hit enough enemies, charges up. Uh, at which point you can use it to heal. And it gives you all sorts of options, like using those demon runes more immediately, all sorts of stuff. So I want the potion, I don't want Mr. Blue. Shit. Oh, there's a there's a little piece of money. Oh the greed as in all games. Gets me again. Ah, that's a good bow. Here's projectile size. Okay, we're doing, we've got some good go bow stuff going on. Feather. Don't remember what that does. Uh, so you can use it to jump on once. Can't double jump. Ah. Come on, blue guy. I can't. I can't deal with your shit. Okay. That was another blessing. I thought they were both dead. All right, it's okay. It's okay, cause look, uh, we can heal ourselves. So no big deal. Let's see how it works. I restore twelve health and temporarily increase your melee and rage damage. That's pretty good. So, twelve health is perfect. Bam! Just like that. We're... Uh... No big deal. Let's make sure we don't forget, lose anything, miss anything. Oh yeah, the blue guy. Oh shit! Woo! We were lucky! That's the first time I've said that in this game. But we just barely missed those spikes. Uh, I want these chests. Not sure how to deal with them. Oh, well, that's, that's whatever. Whatever. Don't care about you. What's this guy? 50% chance to pierce targets. Does a lot more damage. Wait. 
so we're keeping it. It takes a while for this healing orb to charge up. Still waiting on that second charge. Okay, we got it. So I'm gonna use it. As long as we're we've taken more than 12 damage, I'm probably gonna use it instantly. Hey, if we can kill him next to that wall. Hey, I opened up a path to a bat. And a pot, whatever. I'm liking this. I really do like this fellow. Um, but now we're kind of relying on that RNG to give us max damage items. Uh, sorry, max health items. Like those little demon explorer looking dudes. This gives a random wand. So. There's a lot of downsides to this guy. One is that you can't really use any other items unless you happen to get the two item per. So that slot is just filled. The whip. I want to say the whip is really good, but you can't down slash. Yeah, look at that. 14 to 16 damage. Uh, plus not that plus a ring slot. So you can wear four we can wear four rings. That's really good. Get a blowback. Remember calamity. I should keep a list. Each kill. Okay, that's something. Chance of bleeding, that seems positive. I don't know if that affects all weapons or just weapons that already do magic damage. This flying eyeball is good, but we're not going to replace our healing. Sadly, I think if you unequip it, you lose the charge. So, like, it's charged right now. If we switch it out, um, not only will we have to charge up the other item, but we'd have to recharge this. I could be wrong about that, but that's how I think it works. Okay, we got a... Another close spike success story. <clears throat> Got an altar. Um, but that guy's going to try to keep us from Kill him. It's okay. Boop. Oh, Jesus. Okay. And a health shrine.
No, fuck me. Okay, so I think what I want to do is save the healing charge for the boss. So let's see what we've got. Uh, magic damage, magic charge. That's great. For us, that makes us heal more frequently. Uh, melee damage, melee knockback. Let's, uh... Get some chickens. These would be useful if we could restore health on kills, but, uh... So this is like a uh, little satellite that shoots for you. can't take advantage of that shrine. We don't have anything to, to upgrade. Okay, I'm gonna go back up and see what we missed. I think we missed an area. And hopefully... Fucking shit! It's even more embarrassing because it happened twice. He jumped it uh, off the wall and shot. And I didn't be expect him to be able to make that angle. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Alright. Let's try again. Uh, you start psyching yourself out because you think, if we had used that statue or if we had healed, you know, we wouldn't have died. And that's true, but in these kind of games, um, you, you can't just always be conservative. Because... Those resources are part of the part of the game. I mean, if you use them up, it's going to mean you die later. So there's kind of a finesse to it. Good. I really like what, what uh, stuff we had picked up. That was a good setup. But we'll have more setups like that. Hey, just like this. So we got a demon room. So um, we take damage, but increases our max health, right? And so eventually we can get up to like 500 health, and we'll need it. Um, We'll definitely need it. I think the run that I won, um, I had, you know, many hundreds of health and all sorts of ridiculous perks, like... shields and whatnot that... I, I don't know. Crazy stuff. Upgraded weapons and shit. Yeah, that double jump's a big deal. That's not nothing. 
I want to say you can get it as a perk. You can get double jump as a perk. Um, same way you can get this healing item as an item. It's just random. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and use the heal. Should have done that earlier. so pretty. We jumped over him, but you just nick that edge and bounce back. <clears throat> Not gonna say bad luck. It's definitely a skill thing. That was bullshit. But I, I, again, I probably should know the way that they attack. Oh, shnikes. Yeah, see, we lost our charge. That sucks. I... I don't really buy that. I feel like if you've charged it up, you shouldn't have to charge it up again. Let me save him in my inventory. That seems like an interesting mechanic. But... No such luck. I think that that is it for this stage. I think we went over there, so... Got a bouncy boy. Ooh, it looks like a maybe a fire ship. Fire sword. So just like a straight upgrade. Uh, magic bomb lesson? Gives you bombs. Bombs explosions produce a number of projectiles. That's a really weird one. It's a perk that gives you items that you can use up. I don't really get it. So I just didn't see it. Okay, can't upgrade yet. Uh have these health items done. Which you might want to use. <clears throat> but I'm gonna delay. Also a health shrine. Fire bombs and a sticky bomb. So this does less damage, but it's a fast bow. Which might be a good trade-off. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, it's fast. Let's uh, see what the fire. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, if we don't take damage, I'm going to call success on that. That was exciting. Whew. Come on up here. Come on up. Oh, there's another? Alright, we're getting him like this. So, statue. Mother. Humper. I mean, come on. Your heavy tax to stun targets, that's cool. Uh... That's good. So I'm trying to decide what to do with the health. I think I'm gonna just heal, hopefully, save the items. And, uh,. We'll grab the shrine before we leave the area. We'll see, we'll see how it works. Of course, the shrine costs gold, so if you can save the gold, it's, it's all about maximizing your utility. Just a ridiculous number of bombs. Oh, there's nothing over here. Oh, crap. I can't get back up. I think you can, you can make this jump. I've seen people do stuff that looks like this. Uh, but it's tricky. I'm not sure I can. And there's the, the spikes down there, of course. Shit. Um, we do have a sticky bomb. So what I could do, <clears throat> it seems kind of excessive, but I could sticky this wall above me, and then I could make this jump, but uh, Let's try it. I, I never use sticky bombs, so. Oh, shit, okay. It said 
throw using ranged controls. So I tried to use my ranged controls, but uh, clearly they weren't the right ranged controls. All right, well, I was hoping to go back up and get the statue. Uh, I feel like I'm going to be too stressed during the boss to lose healing. This guy is kind of annoying. I don't really remember. He... Okay. I think he can only be hurt when he's in that volcano form. Yeah, see, I don't even know how to use the freaking controls. That's... That's it. I was trying to figure out how to heal, which is uh, not good. Don't really understand how that works. So you pull up the radial, and then using the shooting controls, you can pick one, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe you pick it and then let go. It looks like that's looks like that's it. But that's a tough boss. You can only hurt him in that one time and even if uh, even if you can avoid the damage, it's it's a long fight. Now regeneration sounds good. Let's get something like that. So ten health at the start of each new level. That's it's not as good as I hoped. But it's something. Well, one benefit of dying as quick as we're dying is that we don't get too attached to our character. Uh, silver lining in the cloud. and the screen was shaking. Melee and ranged weapons with the three extra damage for every five or something. So. Melee and ranged weapons. We'll deal two extra damage for every five magic damage. Magic damage is negative five. Does that mean we take a hit?
Uh-oh. I have an archer. Bolts, damage dealt space and magic damage. Slow. Yeah, that's pretty slow. But it's nice that it's uh It's pretty interesting actually. We have to take off the orc ring, but, but let's stick with the sword. I think we'll maybe try picking a magic sort of character after uh, after this step. You know, if we die. <clears throat> So there's a blue guy, but he's right next to a shrine, so... I don't know... We have to get him to come out. And then kill him, outside. That's gonna be tricky. If I had popped him in the air, that's, I think that's the way to do it. Let's get him to jump. Well, it worked! It's, it's not what I intended, but... I, I can't even remember what spider he does. Does do damage to all melee attackers? Considering how often we take damage. That's a pretty good deal. There's a chest over there. But we only have one bomb. Got the 10 health. Might not be super useful later in the game, but it's pretty good right now. This is gonna be something, huh? Let's just pretend. It did that on purpose. Health Shrine. Don't, don't, don't blow up the Health Shrine, please. Don't blow up the thing, altar either. Jesus. These dudes suck. I don't know. I mean, I guess they're interesting, but I don't really find them very fun. Interesting is good. So, that's called getting the fuck out of dodge. Whew. What? What? The hell? 
hell is that? What the hell is that thing? What is the monkey doing? It's like a ice monkey or something. What in the world? Why is there an ice monkey following? And I can hit it. Dude, what's up? What's up, bro? Are you gonna help me? Cause I don't really see you doing much. Like, like nothing. Oh shit! Okay, 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 okay. Wow, he almost knocked us into the spikes. Um, don't know what's up with Blue Boy down there. Gain 10 10 max health every level. Oh, this this guy. This guy's got a rune for me. In fact, if I don't die. Kill himself in spikes. That's how good he is. Alright. I like the idea of the magic thing. I don't think I've ever messed with the magic. But, uh, I don't really ever think I tried it. Now that I see that it's got that cool thing, it's basically ranged, but it pushes back. Let's see if we can find a good magic. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, none of these really look very magic -y. Start with a ruby wand. Increase magic damage by 5. Reduce magic health by 8. So I think the ruby wand makes you teleport forward. It's not a, it's not a weapon. Um, something's messed up with the chat. I don't see... Hi, hi, Jelly Dots. Welcome. For some reason, your message doesn't show all the way up for me. But I see it now. What's what's going on? All I see is the top of your Pokemon. There we go. Welcome, Jelly Dots. Yeah, I don't, I don't think any of these really look very helpful for magic. So let's let's just start with uh, adventure, and then we'll try to find some magic items. So I think this is what you start with. This is supposed to be the basic build, and as it says, you have two apples. An apple and two bombs. 
<clears throat> and otherwise neutral stats. Yeah, aren't they fun? Another apple. Uh, Alright, what do we get? So, this, this is that thing we had before. It's not really a magic weapon, it's a magic item. And it's not too impressive. Magic Pierce, Magnetism, and Fire Area. Alright, we're gonna try, we're just, I don't know how to do magic, so we're gonna get magic stuff. Oh god, I fell. They both hit me! Alright, let's try this. Alright. So you, you hold this down, and then you do the thing, and then you let it go. It's kind of weird. Some magic pills. In this. Um, yeah, I don't know much about magic. Oh, Jesus. But we had a little wand last game that uh, seems pretty interesting. If, if only we had magic uh, power-ups. Future section of poison, that's useful. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. So I fell. Wish I had those that healing spell right now. now let's leave him alone. Resurrect to 50% upon death if you have the Ankh equipped, breaks upon death. So that's, it's like the, um, sort of the tried and true resurrection item. Uh, whose cost is that you can't equip anything else. Mother! die to a melee hit. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. But that's okay. Um, magic items let you beat the game for your first. It was a fluke. Yeah, I, I've only beaten it once as well. Probably a fluke. Um, but I didn't use magic, I used, uh, I, I don't know, normal stuff. Just the sword that gives you health back. And, and this bow actually upgraded. Health and maximum health increased by 25. That's 
pretty decent for, for, for right now. Okay, hello. Don't know if we can. Come on, bats. Come on out of there. Um, I'm thinking maybe to use a heart. We've had uh, such bad luck. Hey, now here we go. Here's some magic damage. We still don't have a magic wand, but... Oh, it's this... It's, it's, oh, 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 That sucked. So that's that's why I was kind of hoping for the why I used that. That that first uh, heart. Another onk. So we have two onks. Feels a little cheesy. I'm sure we'll blow through them. Double onk, yeah. So what we need is uh, the perk that gives us two items, so then we can equip like this eyeball. The game knows that I can't handle it. We've died many times today. I wonder if you can combine onks. We have an altar. What happens if you combine onks? If I try to combine the onk, I instantly something would kill me. And I would uh, not be wearing the onk. Come on, come on. I want to hit that blue thing. Well, can't combine the ops. Because I've died. Um, so I'll put the other one on. <laughs> yeah, it didn't. It didn't take very long. Um, we need to find. Wait, what? Oh, there we go. We need to find a better sword. I really want to upgrade this bow. Now that oh that was another run. I can't even remember what I have in which run which run.
There we go. Is that a magic wand? No, this is an item. Uh, alright, so you... You have fire resist. This is really useful for the like uh, the late game. Fire resist, you kind of need to have. Um, no, the dashy one is the red one, right? Um, I think this one just attacks, just projectiles. So we'll put this on. No, I'm talking about. I want a weapon. I want a weapon that's a magic wand. We, we had one last game. Um, something that deals magic damage. I'm trying to be a wizard. Can't quite reach it. So, we explored everything. Is there anything we can upgrade? I don't think there's anything we can upgrade. Okay, but hey, good luck. If we can beat him, all right. So we have a health shrine. And uh, we have two demon runes, so steals 10 health. So, one, two, that works for me. So, yeah, let's see what we got. All right, this one's easy. Although it's not quite as easy when you don't have double jump. Oops. Alright, then the drop. Whatever. Nice. Another eyeball, so we can upgrade that. Two demon runes and... Being close to death causes a large explosion, knocking back and something, something enemies. Okay. <clears throat> Holy relic. Melee weapon. Damage dealt with this weapon charges your magic item 100% faster. That would be really good to have with the healing guy. It's not too slow. Although, uh... Yeah, it's not fast. You can do a downward jump, though. So what's the, what's the deal with this?
increases max health and adds magic damage. That's what we So our magic damage is 10. I still don't really understand how magic damage works. Does it always happen? I don't think so. I feel like we need a weapon that deals magic damage for that to matter. I'm going to go back to the regular. bit of damage but not too much. We don't have anything to heal us. Jelly Dots, thanks for the follow. See a blessing. with melee restores two health. Hey! Let's see if we can actually, uh... Well, we're gonna use that Ankh, I think. She's a weed. So... Yeah, this is kind of a... This is a big one here. Uh... Especially when you get it upgraded. Why their skulls are so pissed. Yeah, they're, uh, they're pretty irate. The skulls are tough. Any fast moving thing is tough. I, I Everything is tough. The freaking, no! That was stolen. So that, I think I mentioned this before, but that little thing takes uh, items in, and we opened a chest or something on top of it and it fell in. That sucks. So, all right, we can't get that back. Um, I'm trying to think. I wonder if it makes sense. Like, we're going to lose. We're going to die. Maybe it makes sense to go ahead and use two demon runes. And, and kill ourselves, which will resurrect us, but we'll have higher max health. Uh, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna do it. So we should wind up with something like 102 health. Perfect. And now, I can actually equip something like this eyeball. 
Now, do we have a... Was there a shrine on this level? Don't remember. I can't get up anyway. Alright, now we're gonna... Well, we need to kill stuff with melee to get our health back. But maybe not that demon dude. We need a good sword. What? What what exploded? Slimes don't explode. I call shenanigans. Calculated, yeah. I don't know if it makes sense, but it's it makes sense to me. The chest had a bomb. Uh that sucks. That's bad luck. Come on guys. Back up to 102. Shit. The thing about melee is you take so much damage. So, it's difficult. Y you often lose health trying to get health back. Um, can you get up here, buddy? Can you get up here? Come on, I got something for you. Hop up here, hop, hop up here. Alright, I can't, I don't think he's gonna do it, so... Why don't you hop over there? This dude is like a ninja. Okay, 83. Let's try to get back up. To 102. <laughs> oh shit. Man, the skulls suck. Okay, 70. That's not quite 102. Oh, there's health. Where did blue guy go? Okay. Come on, skeleton. going well. Alright, all of y'all, come over here. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Come on, come on, everybody. Oh, okay, 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 maybe not you. Not sure if this strategy is working. It is not, it is not working. Working equals false. If only we had something better than the starting sword. Uh, all right, let's, let's do, let's do some potions. That's not good for us. That's lowering our melee damage is bad. 
That's definitely that. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, shy guy, come on, what you got? Health Shrine! And an upgrade station. Yeah, we really screwed ourselves by <clears throat> losing some melee damage. Yeah, me too. I mean, we got, uh, we picked up this thing, but it's so slow. Let's, let's deal with this skull. Okay. So let's first upgrade. Um, I guess we can only upgrade this. Alright, but this is a pretty cool guy. Oh, we can upgrade the crown ring. Whoa, that was close. Super crown ring. Solid gold ring that causes your heavy tax to stun. 10% melee speed, 24% explosion size. Explosion size is not great, but okay. The time thing? Really? You think I can upgrade that? Sure enough. Super time crystal. So this time for 15 seconds. Oh, it's a, I thought it was one time use. Um... Man, I really want sword. Especially the sword that gives you health when you kill people. Because when you start combining that health stuff. Him out. I'm too scared of him. Uh... Oh, there's another ring. Alright, so. Boop. 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 Super Royal Ring. Uh, magic damage, magic charge, magic. Resist. The magic resist is good. The other two I don't think are helping me very much. So, might as well pop this one in there. Because I have three slots now. Um, I think it makes sense to go ahead and buy this. Because there's no way... We're gonna fill up on life. So I'm just gonna do it. Ah, oh, we're doing so, so small amount of health, of uh, sword damage. Oh, the, it helps with the eyeball? Oh. God, blast it! Oh, now I'm angry. That was, uh... That was stupid. That was stupid, but... He's dead. Stupid. Stupid slime! Uh... 
I'm going to switch this out until we get to the fire enemies. Oh, that's slime! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, run! Oh, this game. All right. Oh, it's a poison sword. Uh, nice. Definitely a better sword. Uh, all right, Calamity, Master Sword, Fiery Blade. I'm going for that. Chance of burning enemies with melee hits, and then we'll switch back to this. Um, <clears throat> reduce one random stat and increase two random stats. Surely that's good in the long run, right? That's actually really good. Damage resist. Plus two melee damage. Okay. I'll take it. Alright, we're looking pretty good. If I can just not be terrible. Oh my god, the bat hit me. <sighs> this game has done everything it can to help me survive. And I just keep taking damage. Two... Onks. Health regeneration. Um, so this subsidian ring is really good. Damage resist is fantastic. Uh, I'm going to, again, get rid of that and put this in. Because I take too much damage. randomly poisoning and randomly f setting dudes on fire. Oh yeah. Time for boss number two. Shoot. Let's uh let's kill these dudes. Um, all right, I might I might try to use the battle brew during the fight. <sighs> Let's just hope we don't get the bouncy one. All right, this one's pretty easy, especially as souped up as we are. I just have to kind of be a little more relaxed than before.
Ah, we, we got poison. Is this the run where we have the poison ring? I don't think so. Uh, the further along you get, the bosses have more health. Even the same boss, you know, has more health than he normally would. You don't get plus two health on these little enemies. God, eight damage? Uh, I need another Ankh, please. I hope one of these drops an Ankh. Oh, I need to cut his leg off, right? But I, I messed it up. jump over it. So we're officially close to death, which is what that explosion was. All right, we cut his leg off. I don't. I have no idea what that does, but let's hurry up and kill him, because Jesus Christ, we're gonna die. Woo! Let's have a ten seconds fire lightning bolt when using a ranged weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use these hearts. So without double jump, that is a lot harder. But we're alive. And continue. This is where the game actually starts to get hard. There's a lot less, fewer enemies that you can use melee on. lightning bolt goes to the ground. Let's see. Nope. These worms I think maybe are the enemy I'm afraid of the most. You don't see them until it's too late. Then they pop up and they just wreck you. This is the only way down. So we've got five bombs. I think I might bomb through here. Uh, so the gr this ground down here has these tentacles. 
that pop up when you touch it. If I could get that green slime. I'm, be, I'm trying to be as careful as I can, and he still hit me. Alright. The slime's gone, so it's not really a big deal now. Is there anything we can do? Nothing to regain health. I have another potion I could guess and hope, but I think that that's a bad idea. Bloody dude over there. Um, oh, there we go. I don't want to be this close to him. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Just die, just die. All right. Oh, Lord. Hey, Asmodeus. Thank you. Thank you for the bits. The run, the death count is like through the roof. Um, I'm not going to say I've remembered how to play just yet, but this run is going okay. We made it to the fourth. Um, the fifth level, just past the second boss. Uh, but we're out of health and options for renewing health. So I need to kill these two dudes and then kill that thing with melee, I think. So, oh, oh, slow, slow and steady wins the race. It's which is actually why I thought this might not be a great game for for streaming, just because a lot of times these safe strategies work really well, and it's probably boring to watch. All right, I mean, now I need to kill that with melee somehow. I can't reach it. All right. Uh, Oh shit, we've got an altar over there. That was two health. All at risk for two health. Whew. How are you doing, Asmodeus? Oh, I shouldn't stand here. Oh. Um, I take it that you have played this game? As movies. Oh, there's stuff up there. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh oh. See what I mean? You get close. Watch if he runs. Only seen the second boss, no further. Um, 
the bosses are actually randomized. And I I think, except for the final boss, you can see any boss at any time. Um, and I want to say there's... I think there's nine or so total. Some of them are pretty tough. Some of them, not so tough. I don't think I can... That worm is just giving me too much trouble. So what I could do is I could run right to that corner, and I think I'm safe below him. But that's risky. Uh, that's good. That's actually really good. I'm going to switch that out like this. And maybe that's stupid. I don't I don't even know. Please tell me you can't hit me here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a uh... I think there's you, you have to fight four bosses in each run. I think I it's actually it's been a while since I played. I think you go through four bosses. And then the final area. This is uh this is ridiculous. So there's a fire baddie. Fire slime and, a, and an eye. I don't see any more chests, so I'm just gonna just gonna let that slide. All right, we have a worm. So I think you can wait for them to look away. Oops. But this is, I have no idea what's below. So I think the safe thing to do is to, oh shit. He still hit me. The safe thing to do is to put a bomb here. Okay. All right, there's the exit. We've got one orc. Oh, health! Uh, there's a perk. But this area looks horrible. How, how do we kill him? And there's a perk to the right, too. Well, there go three bombs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Ah! <laughs> the 
this is crazy. The game just got so much slower. All right. Lock, sorcery, oh fuck. All right, Primer Blessing, I'm pretty sure that gives us Primers. Uh, I don't know what Sorcery does, I guess it's for spells. Luck, I don't think is that good, so I'm going to go for the Primers. There's an Altar on this level. Level, We'll upgrade our sword or something. This one... I can't remember. Maybe it gives you two items. But there goes our fourth bomb. magic out of that that's really good so we've got this eye um, now we've got this I like I like little dudes following me around I don't have to worry about uh, aiming or anything, they just... The skull, I believe, uh, is another item I had when I won. And when you use it, it protects you from arrows and stuff. And it's kind of a big deal. I'm trying to make their way to the altar. Here goes the last bomb. Don't want to blow him up next to the altar. Come on, come on, come on over here, buddy. No, don't. Come on, come here. Come here. Can you see me? Blue guy. Dude. Look how tasty I am. didn't get the altar. So, now we can upgrade two, two items. I'm thinking the bow and the sword. The, the skull would be good, but not like, it wouldn't save our lives. The ring would be good, but again. Damage resist, maybe? Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to go sword and bow. This is this is a good run actually. This has gotten interesting. Is there anything else we can upgrade? Don't think so.
We're going to keep hemorrhaging help. Uh... Okay. Come on up here and fight me like an orc. Oh shit, I forgot about the worm. Um. Okay. Uh. There's three acid slimes, or whatever they are. None of this is safe. I wish we had that homing upgrade we keep we kept getting. I don't even see what it was. But let's kill these guys first. Come on. Oh! oh, that's what happens. That's what happens when you get impatient. So is there any way to identify these fellows before we get up on them? I don't see anything. Uh, I guess I see something now. Shit. All the health we carefully built up killing the other things are gone. What's down there? Chest and a health sucking shrine. Now there's another worm down here. Confidence is slow and it says there's no trust me. There's no overconfidence here. Just impatience um, We died many times today uh, to, to very simple enemies Oh, 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 oh. I can do better by going here. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Seventy health. We're slowly, slowly losing health. Oh. 
let's look for a little wormy boys before we charge in. I'm gonna finish him off with melee. This might be stupid, but... took the ring and hurt me a lot. Uh, create a boost field around it. Yourself and friendly characters will gain 50% attack speed. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Have you got any, got any apples? That's what I really want is some apples or a nice tart. Charge, oh dear, martyrdom for another primer. Health shrine to the bottom right, if we have enough gold for it. This is tough. I don't know what martyrdom is. I don't know what charge is. I know what primer is. get to that shrine. He's trying to jump and uh... Bastard! That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart AI. Like, he didn't just try to come around the corner. He actually tried to jump up high enough to shoot me. And uh... It worked. Play it safe with this dude. Alright, so I think we can kill the dude from here. And then get the shrine. Holy balls! This has been, we, we flew through the game until we got to this level. And now all of a sudden I'm going like a snail's pace. Now we're talking. Number three. 
All right, is there anything that we have that actually might help? I've forgotten all this time to be using my little skeleton. He uh, he would have been perfect for killing those guys, and I just didn't even think. He puts a bubble around you that uh, prevents... Uh, projectiles from hitting it. I'm gonna try to remember for the boss. But otherwise I think I think there's nothing really we can prepare. I don't remember this one. Okay, you can't go on the walls. I remember this. Yeah, these guys suck. Because not only can't you touch them, but they also all shoot you. Thanks, Asmodeus. You've seen me play Enter the Gungeon, you know what I'm like. Oh my god. The first time I fought this boss, I beat him. I, I remember thinking, well that wasn't so hard. And it's one of these things where it's, it's luck. What, what can I do? What do I do here? Okay, you can okay, you can jump over the bottom of the wall. Shit. Let me let me try again. Let, give me another shot. Give me another shot. That was a good. That was good. I feel like that one had a chance of uh, of winning. I I forgot to use I forgot to use the power up again. I had a power up that protected me from bullets, and I forgot to use it. <laughs> That's just sad. <laughs> Thank you, Asmodeus. Thank you for the bits. I'm I uh, I'm worried I'm going to start associating failure with with bits. All right, I think I've got I've got. Let's see. I think I can stand one more run, unless it's super quick, and then maybe two. Uh, let's switch off perks though. Let's go back to double jump now that I've warmed up. This is the only one that I've I've won as, and and uh, I feel like it makes a lot of stuff easy. <sighs> All right, back to scratch. Uh, without that bow, everything feels so sad and quiet. But <clears throat> it makes such a big difference to get that health regeneration. It, it's kind of crazy. I feel like it's required. So much good luck that run. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, it, it actually only takes two. So if you have duplicates, uh, you can get upgrades. And we had a couple of upgrades that, that run. Um, one of the many lucky things that we... Explosion damage and damage resist. That's actually really good. Oh dear. You saw how much those bullets... Oh, that's a good one. Those bullets were doing like 14 damage a pop. The more damage resist you have, the more realistic things are. Uh, yeah, I, so I can't remember all the details about the altar. I think there's a way to destroy it, and you get some kind of a like a shadow weapon or something. I can't. I can't remember how it works. Maybe there's an item that when you put it on the altar, it breaks it and it gives you like a like a special sword or something. I, it's something pretty neat. Um, life drain. Let's try that. So, th so this is this is good. This is against poison, but uh, this anything having to do with life sounds good. There we go. So that's that's what we want. We've we've started off with arguably the best deal. Um, so there's our plus two health again. <laughs> oh god! Oh lord! Oh shit! It's another one. Let's kill him from a distance. Let's kill one of these without killing it with a face. Um, but yeah, I really like the altar mechanic. Especially because I think it it builds off of the altar mechanics and a lot of the oh my god and a lot of the rope the original roguelikes and in spelunky as well it feels like it fits in nicely all right no harm no foul 85 health did we explore everything i think i think so let's let's kill this guy for help Just, um, just practice. All right, twofold, which I think is chance for doubles. Well, speaking of altars, there's one on level two. Guys, let me know. I'm trying to read here. Uh, fiery arrow martyrdom. I don't know what these do. Let's try martyrdom. We've seen it a lot today. That actually seems horrible. Enemies have a chance of exploding when killed with a ranged attack. I mean, I don't want them to break the environment. So I hope it doesn't do that. Use any magic item to increase your range speed by 20%. Okay. Oops. Back up to full health. Haven't used any uh, health items. So we've got two meats. 
Now this crystal sword actually makes us take more damage, so I don't think it's a good idea for for me to use it. I've never seen that before. Um, the treasure box gave us an additional ring slot. This is this looks like a good run already. Seems, uh, seems really, ow, it just hurt me, okay, well, <clears throat> haven't seen that one either. The boxes have to do random stuff. Skull stick is, is really interesting, so if I remember right, it increases, if you use it to kill enemies, it increases your max health, but it really sucks. It has low damage, but I think now's the time to use it. <clears throat> okay, all right. Uh, while the enemies are relatively easy. <clears throat> yeah, it's so low damage that I'm not really using it very effectively. They keep hitting me. It also doesn't have a down swipe. You guys not gonna come up here? What's the deal? So, I've gotten six extra max, max health. Doesn't really seem like a big deal, but you can use it as much as you want, as far as I know. And the slimes, I think, are the worst because I just for some reason don't understand how they dodge, how they dash. Uh -oh. I wonder what happens if you blow up the blocks below the door. So, got this statue. Oh man, we're, we've been so lucky. Got another health item. We've got a statue that increases your health by 100. And so I think I'll probably use this to test some potions. Is there anything to upgrade yet? Don't think we have any doubles. Alright, let's quaff some potions. Ouch! That sucks. This is the 
boss. So let's switch back to to the default sword. Alright, this guy. We fought this guy today. But we had a much better... Oh. One, two, Jesus Christ. I'm not sure what triggers them. I guess being in front of you. Alright, we're on top. That's good. So here's the thing. Here's the thing about this game. And you shoot using the joystick. And at least because I only have one thumb, I have to take my hand away from the jump button. So whenever I'm using the... Whenever I'm using the bow, I'm, I'm not capable of jumping. Now maybe there's a better way to do this. I mean, there has to be. I don't know. But that's, uh... That's why... It's weird. Shit, that's an awesome perk. That's basically that little item we had. But uh, with any sword. I feel like this is definitely a winnable run. Um, you know, especially, especially if I don't seek to get destroyed. Do you play on the keyboard, Jelly Dots? How, do you like that? How is that? But yeah, like jumping and shooting is really awkward. Um, to jump first and then shoot, or to shoot and then jump. All right, we have two. Rings of Affliction, use the keyboard, pretty good. First, pretty daunting, arrow keys plus W. Yeah, I tried it for like three seconds, and then I was like, nope. 
uh, because the arrow the arrow is the arrow keys, right? The the uh, bow and arrow is the arrow keys. Is that right? It's kind of wild. It's like playing two two characters or something at once. This is um this is definitely winnable. I I did not mean to get that. But okay. Uh, because we're going to wind up with pretty high max health eventually, and uh, and we can heal ourselves. Don't break the altar. Don't break the altar. Don't break the altar. I feel like those blue dudes just really like altars. Come on, come on, guy, come for me. Yeah, you know you want it. Come on, over here. Well, I did. I didn't mean to do that, but you know. It is what it is. At least we got him away from the altar. All right, so we've got some alone time. Let's upgrade this guy. Um, I think that's it, sadly. I mean, not that that's bad, but that's, that's it. Might have been better to actually keep both, just for the time being. Okay. And we've uh, searched up here. Yep, that's where we started. Okay. So we'll re try to remember there's an altar on this level. <clears throat> A lot of big slimes. This is like the perfect setting setup for not getting hit. This game is hard. I, I think it's hard. Especially melee combat. It's really... I don't, I don't know what the right word is. Delicate. Or maybe not. I mean, I feel like my strategy is mash buttons, but I also don't do well at it. So... worried about uh, dying. Let's take a shield instead of taking food. Yeah, I saw that. I, I actually haven't played since he added that, but um, I did see that when I started today. Well, that's a good blessing. Man, we're getting a lot of good blessings. Life Leech Bow? That sounds like it steals life from enemies. So it does less damage, but it's a bow that steals life.
This is gonna be. I'm gonna be really sad when we die. Is this? Well, there goes the shield. Oh, I can hit him through the wall. Oh, that's a bad idea, because the exploding guy. Um... That's pretty cool. Oh, you rascal! The bow dudes are really smart. Shooting at interesting angles and stuff. Oh, that's a good sword. Fuck, he's got it. No! No, 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 He took my sword! Oh, and they can only drop one item, so it's gone forever? The fuck? Oh, I picked it up. <laughs> That's cool. Um... So it's slow, but it does an absurd amount of damage. Yeah, it's really slow. But that's a lot of damage. I mean, it does twice as much damage. I think I need the fast sword. I'm going to use the tart. So, yeah, the thing... It's kind of funny, these games, I mean, they're meant, they're interesting because they're hard. If they were easy, I don't think it would be so enjoyable to, uh, to beat them. I, if I used custom, I feel like I would be cheating. Whereas playing The Long Dark, for example, I feel like it's different. Uh, it's more about the experience and turning off things that are annoying makes sense to me. Here, I would turn off archers, you know? Anything that can shoot me in a distance. But that, it, would be in, it wouldn't be challenging. Okay, I'm a little bit worried we're not uh, keeping our health up. So... There's an altar on this level, but I don't think there's a health shrine. There should be a health shrine on the next map. And there it is. Come up, come up. Alright, feeling like we're back in the game. We've got a health shrine here. Uh, ardent bow or slow but powerful arrows. We might switch to a powerful bow for the boss. I'll try to remember instead of the bow. The bow that should get health. Um, I don't know what this is. This is not impressive. Oh shit. Oh, there's another one. These dudes are tough. What's uh what's your least favorite enemy, Jelly Dots? Oh, 
Oh, he hit me twice! Ah! Oh. It's like insulting. It's like being slapped. Oh god, there's two more. Yeah, the max the max HP is going up. I'm I'm liking that. The problem is I don't know how to fill it up. The fire slimes? Yeah, the fire slimes are so quick. I feel like I, I hate the acid slimes more than the fire slimes though, because you can kill them at a distance. Um Really? Another skull? Another skull? Two more skulls, really? This is this level is full of them. three times. This has hit me three times. I, I don't even I don't even know. Like what do I what how do I react to that? Shame I brought shame upon my family. Holy balls, another one. for shrines and for using. We're doing okay. Luckily kills with this wrecking ball count as uh, melee kills. I guess just got hit with a stick. Need a better sword. That's kind of this is kind of a fun one. Almost a boss too. Um, 
Oh, I was gonna say, I'm not sure which one the horned orc is. Is he the one that acts like an adventurer, this one I just killed? Uh, with these dudes that parry, I feel like are pretty tough. Rage! This is this one again. I don't again. I don't really see a horn. It's, I'm not sure. Holy shit! I feel like we need to kill everybody with them. Alright, they're down. Orange body. Oh, so basically the, the same ones like that where they block your attacks. But, uh, but they're orange. Is that the one? Yeah, that guy sucks. That, uh, not that one. But the one that acts like this. Shit! That was horrible. I keep trying to do this down jump and I keep missing. Down attack. Okay. That is it. If I, uh, we've used the shrine. I'm just going to go ahead and preemptively use that in this, and I'm going to switch to... That's really slow. Um... Let's use... Let's use this. Use this. Uh, we haven't fought this one today. I think I, I vaguely remember this. Yeah, he's got like little guardian things, and you have to kill them all. Even if you kill him. Oh shit, okay, well, now we know. Are we, are we killing them or are we not hurting them? Thought maybe we were killing those uh, orbs. Oh. Haven't done much damage to him. Which which direction? Okay. That was that was bad. 
That was bad. So we can kill the sparkly ones. Okay, that changes things. My iron ball killed me. It fucked me. What? made a split second decision to try to go over him instead of on the platform because I thought it was moving too fast. So that's another one. I really want to go up against it again like immediately. I feel like I learned a whole lot fighting that boss. Um, I really like the bosses where they have patterns and learnable stuff and so one of those is he fucking he gets balls back so even if you kill him he regenerates balls. So I think that the real strat is whenever the blue's flashy ones come out, kill those. Because those shoot you. But otherwise, just focus on the skull. Um, yeah, that was fun. So I think that's it for me uh, for Casual Friday. I'm sure we'll play this again. Um... But I uh, don't know. So weekends I usually play random stuff. Maybe we'll play this again. Maybe we'll play Castlevania. Maybe uh, something else. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, maybe Paladins. Uh, yeah. So thanks for hanging out. I hope you had fun. As much as I hope, uh, I hope watching it live is as good as watching the videos. And uh, Jelly Dots, I'm glad that uh, you can hang out. So I will see you all on another night. Bye.